Hey there, buddy. Hello and welcome to Relaxed Mail. Today we're doing it indoors just because, well, wind's not helping out uh, in the sound quality department. So I wanted to uh, talk core values today because there is a uh, reason I'm doing this indoors uh, is part of uh, core values. As I've said, I wanted to do something. I want to keep my word. So and so we're going to talk about core values and what it means to have core values and why you want to actually in uh embrace and try to make sure that you have a good solid set of core values that you adhere to. So we're going to be talking about that this week. Folks, core values. What is it about a core value that is important? What are core values actually? Uh, we'll start out with that. Let's start out with just the basic. Let's get a groundwork on what is a core value. Um, a lot of people call them core values. They're also known as guiding principles. Uh, if you have read uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, basically these are measuring sticks for your character. It would be a best way to describe that. You, anytime you have a problem, anytime you have a situation, anytime you have a conundrum of some sort, most of the time you will have a set of guiding principles, a set of core values that you're going to base your decision making process on. And so, and as a leader, that's definitely something you want to make sure that you have because, um, you want to, people trust when you're being consistent. They know that if you are, if you hold a value of, I am going to be honest and, and true to everybody that I talk to, they're going to know that when they come to ask you for advice or ask you for an opinion, you're going to give them a true opinion. They're going to give, you're going to give them what is really on your mind. Um, instead of go, doing mincing words and just kind of mealy mouthing it, and just you know not really giving them the uh, a honest uh, view out of fear that you know you might be hurting their feelings. If you're honest, you know you'll tell them, "I'm sorry, I'm about to hurt your feelings, but you, your baby's ugly." So you want to make sure that your values are items that you firmly believe in. Um, a lot of people may go off and I'm going to be uh, uh, health and, and, and vigor are, are my core values. Well, if you look like me, you may have health in your mind, but that's where actions speak louder than words. Look at Cliff Ravenscraft, um, if you know him at all. Um, he was, uh, whenever I was listening to him and he was known as the podcast answer man, he was known for being a kind of a rather large dude. Um, and then he took up the core value that he was going to exercise six days a week uh, for the rest of his life. Um, at first, you can say, yeah, okay, dude, I've, you've said you're going to be walking 10,000 steps every day, and we saw how well that worked. He'd do pretty good. He'd get close, but sometimes he'd fall off. And so you really didn't, th you didn't take much into that, uh, into that account. But then as you saw his actions and you saw the hundred pounds that he has shed in the past, I think two years now that he's been, uh, very dedicated to, uh, to that core value. He is, you believe, yeah, he is the epitome of he's, he's a healthy dude. When you want to have a, when you want to have a, a core value, um, these are items that people look to you for. They know you don't even have to sit there and spout, I am about honesty, truthfulness, and, and whatever. Now, it's good if you mention those, um, and we'll talk about why you want to have uh, core values here shortly uh, in more detail, but or some examples of why you want to have uh, core values here shortly. You want to make sure that your... Um, when you have set up core values, um, that you're actually taking the time to truly examine what, a, what core values you are and what you want. Because like, as I said, you want to make sure that you believe what these core values 
are all about. If you don't believe the core values, they're just words. All right, I can say I am for hard work, but if I'm sitting around on my duff all day, uh, eating nothing but uh, you know lime uh, flavored uh, Tostitos, then I can say, I can say hard work all day, but it's just a word. It's not there's no value to that. Now, if you apply and you uh, add the value, that core value, what you stand for. Uh, people say, what do you stand for? People ask you all the time, what do you stand for? And if you could say, I stand for this, you, people are going to expect for you to stand for that particular, uh, for that particular value that you have. They, the, you, they're going to want to make sure that you actually are, you know, for transparency. So if you're being all secretive and stuff, no one's going to believe that you're about transparency. So how do you use core values? Um, a good way of co using core values is if you wanted to make, if you're wanting to make a mission statement, and not just you can have a mission statement go as broad as you want. Uh, when I say broad, I'm not saying I am about helping everybody and everything. You know, not anything along those, uh, not that type of broad. But uh, let me explain. Let me explain. Say you want to have a, a, a mission statement. A good way to make to incorporate uh, your core values is to make sure your core values are written down into a mission statement. I am, uh, I don't know, uh, I'm actually working on my, this, what brought all this up is I'm actually working on my core values right now. Um, writing them down and getting them all hammered out to make sure that I truly do know what I want to believe, believe in and what I'm for. I've got a good idea, but you know, you want to make for sure. Um, so, but the reason why I'm getting my core values is because I'm going to have a mission statement. Um, and so your mission statement, you can have a very personal mission statement, which is just a mission statement that you abide by. You can actually then grow that out and ha incorporate, have your family together and they have a family mission statement so they as a as a as us as a group we can have a, a family and then if you wanted to you could actually sprout that out to where you know instead of just uh the family it's if you're uh at work you can then take your core values and your family's core values and incorporate those into it say you have a business you can then incorporate that into your business and the business and everybody who's involved there they have it, it, a say into what uh, part of the core values and those core values adhere and when uh, stick and that becomes a noticeable noticeable part of who you are or if you branched it all the way up to your business as to what your uh, what your business is about look at uh, Hilton uh, they are known for their customer service and phenomenal customer service I would like to go stay at a Hilton sometime just to uh, actually a couple times just so that I can fully grasp what they do for their uh, for their customer service levels uh, I have heard about uh, the customer service, um, and so their core values precede them. They are all about, hey, we're going to take care of the customer. We're going to make sure we remember who that customer is, and we're going to uh, make sure that customer is always taken care of. So when you have a, a set of values, if you're known as an honest guy, you want to you're going to want to make sure you that's one of your uh, one of your core values. If you take pride in something, you want to make sure you have pride in what it uh, in that uh, that one. If you have pride in a, an action that you do, you are hardworking. Then that's probably going to be one of your core values. But when you take a core, when you make a core value, when you own a core value, you want to make sure that you stick to it and when you're first starting out you may just want to write down your core values and have them lined out in front uh, you know stuck on a sticky note somewhere and you don't need to have like 37 core values start small start simple do five uh, or if you are wanting to make a change and say you, I want to start having core values and I want say honesty or integrity to be a core value and you've kind of had a shady past well then, 
that might be, you might want to just even take a smaller baby step and just, I am from now on going to be honest about everything. And you have honesty, core value, honesty, and you've got it beside your uh, speedometer on your, on your car. Uh, you've got it on your monitor, you know, almost like a goal. You're going to be known as an, on, you're, you're going to be an honest John. You can also uh, take, but what happens when you don't adhere to your core values? Well, like I said, one, they just become words. But also, but also the issue that you're going to run into is that um, when you, if you drop a, your, your core values, say you, all of a sudden you forget your core values and you, uh, and you, you know, you break one of your sacred laws uh, or you give up, you drop uh, one of your core values. What happens then is your reputation takes a ding. You may not be known as uh, the honest businessman and all of a sudden you, you know, you get caught in a shady dealing. That's going to reflect. People are not, a lot, most, well, people initially, it's going to be a big deal. And as time goes on, people are going to forget, but there's always going to be those few people who know 20, 30 years down the road. Yeah, he, uh, he was caught up in that one uh, scandal uh, back, in, uh, back about 30 years ago. I don't know if I could trust him. And there are people, they, boy, we have minds like elephants at times. Um, so if you are, when you make your, your uh, core values, you want to make sure that you stick to those core values. Now, say five years down the road, you've got your five core values laid out and you realize that one just really isn't quite who you think you are. Say it doesn't fit quite, uh, quite as, uh, as solidly as you thought it should. You say, um, you are, um, helping everybody and you've realized you can't help everybody You're, it's impossible for you to be everywhere at once being Superman helping everyone and then you may have to say I am instead of happy helping everybody I am helping as many people you can change your core values you can adjust your core values um, and there's gonna be people who say hey I thought you were all about you know this item and you have to say I thought I was too, but it's, it's not working. And you can actually then explain why you're changing that, uh, changing that. If they happen to ask you most of the time, if you change and you morph into a, into a different core value, most people will accept that more, especially if it's in line. Now, if you're, uh, for whatever reason, you've, uh, you're an honest known as, uh, you've got a core value of honesty and you've decided that, uh, honesty is just too hard to job and you've gone to the direct opposite yeah you're going to throw a lot of people for a loop but most of the time most people's core values if they're going to switch it's a gentle shift to a to a, a slightly different but very long uh very uh closely related um so you may be instead of uh again i keep using honesty uh, um uh let's see here hard working you're uh, instead of hard working you might be uh uh individual you might start calling your saying that you're uh, a dedicated individual you're going to work on one task instead of working on everybody and you're realizing you're wearing yourself down you're not going to go so much um work hard as you are you're going to be work dedicated you're going to be dedicated to a, t a task oriented you know you're going to adjust your your phrase to and your your core values to to a particular to fit you better and in a more snug uh, snug fashion. So, as a leader, you're wanting people to understand who you are. They want to you wanting them to um, to know what they can expect. You want to have the integrity in the in your actions. Sit down, write out about five or six. Uh, core values that you think you are. If you're having a problem with that, the next video that's coming out is actually going to be more about um, how to set up and how to line out core values. So you can catch that on next week. So, so sit down, 
just start thinking. Uh, you don't have to have all your core values. And if you want to do a Google search on how to come up with core values. Uh, while I've been creating mine, I've realized uh, I didn't know what words to use. And I was like, well, I, what, what, yeah, what, what am I? And so we're going to talk more about that on the next uh, next episode. So um, you'll see me here again. Uh, same outfit, same indoors, um, and uh, we'll uh, we'll continue this discussion on the uh, next week. All right. So thanks again for watching uh, and uh, follow up. Start trying to get those core values. If you run into problems and you want to talk more about core values, we've got that comment section down below. We'd love to have a good, hard, deep discussion about core values and what you think of them and why, whether or not you think we need them. Uh, talk about them down in the uh, comments below. If you like the video, go ahead and please click the like button. And uh, if you really, really like the videos and you want to know whenever I, each week when I put one out, which is I'm, I aim for Friday, nine o'clock, click that uh, bell icon uh, beside the subscribe button. Um, I want to try to get me uh, everything grow, uh, uh, coming together right now. Yeah, we've got, uh, we're, we're, we're a little small on the, uh, on the subscribes, but every single one of those people did take the time and I am truly magnificently honored that all of those people who have subscribed took the time to click the subscribe button and to watch the button, uh, watch the views because we're growing in our views and it's amazing to watch the I'm, I'm it's just it everything's going up and to the right which is the direction it wants it's not as steep up and to the right as I'd like but you know I'll take what I can get. And so thank you again, everybody, for subscribing. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. And we will talk to you next week. So till then, bye.